Hi guys, it's Vicky. It, it's only been maybe seven, eight days, but I feel like I haven't been on YouTube in forever. But that's good. Time usually passes by so quick. I'm glad when it seems like time's gone by slowly. Okay, I'm just here uh, to share some of the Halloween autumn pumpkin time of year layouts that I did before we're celebrating the new year. Um, this is a double page layout I did once again of our trip last year to our local pumpkin festival extravaganza. Of course, it's my grandson in there. He's the only body, you know, I scrapbook videos of, I guess, which isn't true. It just seems like he's he's most of the pictures. Anyway, this is a pretty simple layout. Um, I am trying very hard to have more white space in my layouts. I'm doing more one-page layouts than I used to. You know what's wrong with me? I do things the hard way, and then I complain about them. You know, like, I, I can't just make two courses for dinner, like a meat or a poultry and a veggie. Oh, no, I've got to make a starch and a veggie and a meat and bread and then I complain about being exhausted to my family for two weeks. So sometimes I make things harder on myself than they have to be. Anyway, as you can see, this layout is on a, a plain old smooth white background. Anymore, it seems like when I do a layout on cardstock using cardstock as a background and it's too bold of a color or definitely pattern. I don't like it. I, I don't know. I know there's a change of life for people in my age group, but I didn't know there was a scrapbook change of life. So anyway, most of my pages lately have been on uh, white background paper. This paper I got is from HSN. It's Basil. I think I got a hundred pieces for 20 bucks. Check hsn.com out. They have this on sale a lot. And even with delivery uh, charges, it's like $24.95. You really can't beat it. I just ordered some new cardstock. I'd like some like grays light gray, a true gray, not a purple gray, not a blue gray, just gray gray to form my backgrounds. And I found some on scrapbook.com and I've ordered that. So I'll share that with you when it comes in. It of course cost me uh, $42 for one single piece of basil paper because the I love scrapbook.com. Don't get me wrong. It's one of my favorite websites. But you could place an order for $4,222 and you don't get free shipping. So that kind of, uh, it's, it's uh, well, I don't shop there as often as other places. Okay, I'm done complaining. This is my, my layout. Look, I have my ruler here. And if you're not good, you get your fingers smacked. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is, I, I've got everything set up here makeshift so I can't reach my videos uh, or my uh, layout so I'm going to use a yardstick to do that. White background. Uh, that was an 8x10. I cut it down. I used Tattered Angels uh, spray. <laughs> I like the whole Tattered Angel thing but it always makes my papers warp. Anybody got any ideas about that? Um, you'll see I cut out a pumpkin shape from my Cricut machine. I laid it on top and used it as a mask. You know, we're paying a lot of money for these templates that are masks, which I don't mind. 
I like them, but you can also cut something out for, by hand or from your Cricut and do the same thing. I just throw it away when it's done. Anyway, up here you'll see I use the Technique Tuesday Allie Edwards stamp. Give me the wonderful ordinary every day. Well, I screwed it up, so I had to go back over it with an orange gel pen. And actually, I'm surprised how good it turned out. Over here, I used the... Oh, let me turn you here. Over here, I used... Uh, in my little mask area, I used another Technique Tuesday Every Day Life is Good stamp um, ba -ba -ba, around the edges. I did some journaling. I'm going to zoom in here for you in a minute. This, the banner, the paper down at the bottom, and my little Polaroid camera over here on this side is all from Echo Park, and I think it's either the Playground Collection or uh, the Boy Collection. Let me, what should I do? Okay, let's go this way. On this side, here I used this. This was a sticker. I just put it on some plain white paper, cut it out to give it some girth, uh, some, you know, some tooth, and stuck it on a uh, dimensional. Here, strike a pose. Uh, the letters, the font, I did, I used my... Um, Lawn Fawn Quinn Alphabet. I really love that stamp set. It is the Quinn's Alphabet Stamp Set by Lawn Fawn. Love it. Too cute. Easy to use. Versatile, you know, or versatile, what, depending on what part of the country you're from and how much education you have. <laughs> Okay, anyway, love it. The film strip, I dipped it into Mo Memento ink, black ink, uh, tuxedo black, and stamped it on white cardstock, stuck it on there, stuck my letters on, put my pictures on, and there you have a layout. Listen, I'm not joining any contests with this. I just have so many pictures of Nene in the pumpkins. I just want to get them scrapbooked before, you know, he's 27 years old. So there's a fast, easy layout. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'm going to zoom in here for you. I wanted to leave that top uh, a little bit light colored, not so much spray. Nothing special there, guys. I did some journaling around the picture. Stuck those little pieces of paper from Echo Park on. And there you go. Simple little layout, but I thought I would share. Strike a pose. It's so funny. My journaling around the picture reads, uh, let's see. I don't know if this is funny or sad, but whenever we have a camera in our hand and we call your name, you just stop, turn, and smile, saying cheese, and that's the truth. The poor thing, we have him so trained since he's born, if he sees we have a camera and we say his name, he poses. Thanks, guys, for watching. Always, always thank you for your comments, whether they're good or bad. I mean, you know, please refrain, refrain from calling me an idiot or something. But if you have a suggestion on my layouts, I would love to hear them. 
thanks a bunch. It's Sunday. I don't know when I'll get this uploaded. Um, but thanks so much for your comments. And I'll see you soon.